Well, hey, last hour, David Romero showed us the minimally evasive and groundbreaking procedure, which is saving lives of patients with abdominal aortic aneurysms. All right, same procedure that was performed for one of the first times in the whole country right here in New Mexico on a patient from Berlin. Doctors say the gentleman was literally minutes away from dying, minutes. Wow. But after this procedure, he was out of the hospital in just a few days. Here's David Romero with the story. It was a normal August day for Joe Sanchez that quickly turned serious. The way it started, I was sitting in my kitchen, yeah, on a stool. I was getting ready to eat something, and I got this terrific pain in my back, especially the lower back, right in here. But what Joe didn't know that was happening was his abdominal artery had ruptured, leaving him with minutes to live. I was surprised in a way because when they told me something like, you only had 10 minutes, was that right, Sally? About. If, if, you'd, have, if you'd have gotten here any, any later. later than that, you wouldn't have made it. Joe was rushed to the hospital where doctors performed a life-saving procedure to insert a stent and repair the rupture in the artery. There's not a whole lot of time for patients to be sitting around, uh, you know, trying to get here to there and trying to figure out a plan of care. This is an emergency. It's a surgical emergency. The procedure worked, and Dr. Hanau and his team were able to successfully insert the stent with its O-ring into Joe, saving his life. It, it, it's hard to believe that that device is what went in the way it did. I don't know what to think. I, all I can think is thank you. The real proof here that it worked is seeing, you know, my patient basically survive a life-threatening situation and, and literally walk out of the hospital. It's those type of results that Dr. Hanau and his team like to see. They also recommend preventative screening for men and women 55 and over. You need to get checked. If you've ever smoked, and you may or may not have a history of this aneurysm disease in your family, it's something that takes just a few minutes to go get an ultrasound at your doctor's office. What else is there to add? <laughs> He's alive. David Romero, 2, CASA This Morning. Another interesting stat here is that it literally takes a person smoking 100 cigarettes mm. in their lifetime to be a prime candidate to experience an abdominal aortic aneurysm. 100 oh, cigarettes. Scary. Some people thought, smoke that in less than a week. Yeah, yeah that is yeah. scary.